You ready to teach me, Grandma? I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Mm-hmm. I did. Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Last left off, we did a couple side stuff for Professor Hackett. And now we're able to, to learn a new spell from her, I guess. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. There we go. Nice. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Yes. Okay, let me see. I can put it on. Where to go? Did she give it to me? Revelio. Spelliarmus. Okay, where is it? Central. Did she give it to me? Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Uh, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. That's understandable. Yeah. Now, where is the spell she just gave me? Oh. Right there. Right in front that of me. Doesn't look like it's the really You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Incendio. Oops. Defense against the. Okay, he goes. No, that's not Sebastian. So, what quest we got now? I don't know why do I keep coming to this. Herbology class. Hope y'all having a beautiful and blessed. Thursday again uh, I'm pre-recording this you definitely will see this either Saturday Let's keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones oh found one. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's cobblestones I hardly see what all the fuss is about so I'm had to keep an eye out for those once I walk around because I don't really pay attention oh I pay attention to my surroundings but not all of them Especially when it comes to like certain quests that I know I have to do and get through. So yeah. See something? Oh, that was him doing a spell. This cannot possibly be 
I know since I picked um, Slytherin, I know it's like some missions I'm not going to be able to do. But it's all good. I mean, I can do, I'm going to do multiple different playthroughs after this. After I finish this game on my own time, I'm going to play it. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. That was so unnecessary. <laughs> the soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our pot. Hmm. I wonder. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hard. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Okay. Bethany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Weld potion. Please, the medical herb by use of the Wigan potion clearly sees can be purchased in magic neat. It can, it can be grown in pots of any size. It's the only size I have right now. Ready in nine minutes. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. 
Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Beat Lander Pruitt? Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Chinese chomping cabbages. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Here we are. Home. Go on. Try a few of those cabbages. Mind your fingers. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Okay. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Look at oh. that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I was imagining it already. I suppose they could come in handy. Sure, but that's just a dummy. Not saying you can do it alone, but well, imagine it was. It was I was imagining it. I suppose they can come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Man, I love cabbage, but I wouldn't eat this one. I would not eat this. I wouldn't at all. I wouldn't even touch it. it just took out that dummy. Oh. Well, if you never noticed, I do like to explore in every single game I play, so... And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves... I shall end our lesson here. Six minutes. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. We got six minutes. I did reach level nine off screen on the way back to Hogwarts. I just did like a couple side stuff. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Am I plant? As am I plants off so much? Don't care much for plants. I'm Magical not gonna say Linda. She has so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I definitely will, miss. Appreciate it. Thank you. Two of six quests completed. I will be back for you. But those mandrakes are really relishing their Level new 10. Pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. So. Got a new quest? Potion class. So we just got class today. Well, I fit. Uh, you can check. I finished uh, Devil May Cry Let's Play. Like I said in my last video, 
Y'all can check it out if y'all want to. I already got the next game in mind that I definitely want to play. I'm not gonna announce it. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Damn, that's just that's disrespectful. One cent. Better than nothing. I mean. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. No. Uh -oh. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Ooh. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. All right, just enough. All right, gotta whip it in the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry, that's my water bottle. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Sir, are you just doubting my skills like that? I, mean, I ain't got my no skills. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I can get. You know I'll what? You the Fwooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you, he won't. Fwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. He gonna blow the he gonna blow the room up. Keep your potion station organized. 
He gonna he he gonna blow the whole man feather. He gonna miss it, ain't he? The potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. I'm gonna get expelled from Hogwarts. I know I am. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. He'll give me expel. Adurus potion. Loss of your eyebrows. Hmm. Flux receipt. What is this? Felix. Okay. Guess we're going to do that later. 29 seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Oh, Wait, it's not boy. supposed to. Ah. Get it! Not again! Oh. Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Mm. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. You don't think I know that? I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I haven't burnt down nothing yet. Keyword yet, I haven't. <laughs> Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration. Level 10. That boy in there making stink bombs and stuff. We don't have no serious quest. Talk to Luke and Brattleby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, babe. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the That's old the last you found time I have a idea that Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. Man, am I going the right way? Who's playing that guitar? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Yeah, but I got pretty. I'm. I know what I'm. I know what I'm definitely playing next. So I mentioned I it. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, mm. project. What you want, bro? You wanted to speak with me. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course, confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in the fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. 
I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I don't even know what that is, what you just said, sir. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how I reacted to that. That's unkind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Hmm. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Venomous Valor. I am not... Dude... Okay. Hidden herbology. Okay, I'm trying to do like one quick find scope note in the courtyard. Right. Sounds intriguing. I'm gonna do a lot of those side quests. I'm gonna do like just one video, just me doing side quests. Just nothing but side quests. See what like just see how many I can do. But like I was explaining in my last video. I got a comment saying my video was cringe. Not gonna lie, sometimes and like sometimes I just stop talking because I get too into the game, and I'm not used to really just. I'm not used to talking to a mic, but basically it's like I'm I'm kind of like talking to myself but talking to y'all at the same time. But I'm not used to talking to the mic like rarely. But I'm working on it, and you can hear the confidence build up from like my first let's play from. The Demon Slayer games, the Alan Wake, the God of War 2018 let's play. And I, where am I at? I could do the cross ones things now since I'm already here, but I want to do a story mission. But yeah, I was just, Revelio. just trying to do everything. Just trying to do as much as I can. Scope knows about the book you found and is missing something. Scope does not believe it's safe to speak out in the open. Scope? Who is Scope? Scope, not Scope. But I'm working on it and the confidence is building up and it's like from the likes I've been getting on like even just the shorts and the other comments and stuff. He left a note. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Mm, where is it? Revelio. Right there. Wrong one. Okay, so I guess I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Here we go. Almost a half of the pumpkins just down the stone circle. Look inside one of them. Pumpkins. Oh, I think I know just the place. But like I was playing, everything builds up. Like I know, like Rome wasn't built in a day. So any, like I say, anytime if y'all have like any ideas, I can better my channel and utilize to make this channel grow. Y'all can grow with me, and uh, just join the Almighty Squad. Uh, soon, uh, Scarecrow, nice. Revelio. Not gonna lie, that made me think of a joke. A random. Joke that I saw in The Last of Us uh, TV show. Potato. The young Slytherin must be exceptional curse by now. Meet Scrope by the water edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. 
Go this way. Without falling off of anything. Do you take damage if you fall? Revelio. But y'all can subscribe. It's free. Like y'all can help me grow. We can grow together as like a family. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that, but how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black Family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book, and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The Headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. Revelia. The ring. Did you already give it to me? You gave me toast. Why did he give me toast? Is it? Oh, what is that thing? Oh my God! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me get! I don't think I get. Okay. Oh, I think we found some cheese. Oh boy. I don't know. Okay. How am I supposed to flip it on his back? Feet. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of them now. <laughs> Too many of them. Okay.
Oh, he broke through my shield. Incendio. Oh my goodness. We all oh, cheap. Oh my goodness. I was close. It's too many on my it's too It's too many. It's too many. It's too many. Go, 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 go. Levitate. Levitate him by his. Okay, I did it. <laughs> okay, so that's his weakness. I got you. Okay, that's his weakness. Gotta levitate his tongue once he do it. I messed up. Heal up, heal up. Don't. I got it. It's too many ammo. Oh, that was close. They all just jumping at me at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm not doing no damage Cause I'm, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do Okay Okay Please Oh, uh, get out the water. Oh, get out the water. Get out the water. Get out the water. Oh, get out. I just drunk all my potions. Okay. Um, oh, this, this is not working. This is not working. It's just, it's like, just going in a circle. Going in a circle is not good. I need one of them. Go. Back up. Oh my goodness. Okay. And he's glitching. Messed up. So he can't get me. If I hit him with a Oh my goodness. Why he didn't get me? Oh my goodness. See, I knew the, what what makes me mad, I knew the, I did I was trying to do the weakness, but I kept doing it wrong. I kept like dodging instead of me holding R2 and doing it. I play so sloppy right there. I gotta pay more attention once they tell me that I gotta like wants to uh what they gotta show me that pops up? Wouldn't the toast be soggy if I put it right Why here now? I need a piece of toast. I suppose that's where it goes. in here could it be a visitor oh ah. <laughs> ah. 
The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. <laughs> Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Okay, what you got here I can take? Okay. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Ghost of Aldo. <clears throat> Hopefully I ain't gotta fight them things again. See, but the one thing good came out of it, I have not died yet. I have not had a game over yet, so <laughs> that's a good well I did. I got caught in the last video inside the library. Wasn't trying to. And look at my coat, bruh. See, I ain't had to go around it. Okay. If they just let me just... Thank you. Take that off there. S scope. Or scrope. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollina's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there. Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to House Elves. Can I get that spell? Alright, we almost at level 11. Expelliarmus. Okay. I think I already, yeah, I already been in here. And what's our next quest that we got now? This. 
parents. Ghost of our love. Use the map floating candles to find the treasure. Find it into the hereby corridor. Um, let's do cross ones round three. I just opened that. See? <laughs> Meat. Ooh, boy. It's a little... Let's see what it is on the map real quick. Oh, I gotta go. Can I... Oh, nice. I like that they put like Free resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I like that. That makes it so much easier. Instead of running. Yeah, uh oh. Something's over here. Uh oh. It's a beast in the water, ain't it? Oh, I'm not about that life. I ain't even gonna attempt that. I'm gonna take that. Oh, it almost scared me. What's in here? Nothing. Why am I the only student out here at night? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Here I am, as good as my word. So you say. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? We shall. Aside uh, from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Brother, did you hear that? Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than the other ones. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'd never see you in the next episode. Bye. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs>